Humans are not the only ones who need exercise in the winter. Dogs do too. And there's a unique snow activity you and your pup can do together to stay active. 7 to 4's Alyssa Heron joins us live from Grass River Natural Area in Antrim County to show us how to use a kick sled with and without the use of dog power. Good morning, Alyssa. Good morning, Brennan and Melissa. I am outside in Bel Air on this beautiful, uh, dark and snowy morning here with Francie Dorman. Um, she's a health educator, a nurse, a musher. She does it all. And of course, we have a uh, little Hansel and Gretel down here, her two pups. Um, thank you for joining us, and we are talking about kick sledding. So tell me, what is kick sledding? Well, kick sledding is using one of the traditional or new type sleds, and uh, this is what they look like. This is a modified one, and this doesn't have any of the new equipment on it. Um, but it's used around the world for, for transportation, and they're environmentally friendly. They don't use gas. Yeah. <laughs> and um, they're very good for our bodies. They're very, the yeah. exercise is excellent. And everybody can get involved with this. You don't need a special type of dog. Absolutely not. And Absolutely what kind of dogs not. do you have here? These are just house dogs, right? Yes, these are house dogs. These are our giant schnoodles. Okay, <laughs> and so kind of walk me through what are the health benefits? And, you know, you were telling me they use these over in Europe as well. Yes, um, a lot of benefits. Um, it, it, it increases um, uh, muscle activity, cardio. Uh, cardiovascular um, in both the human and the and your pet. Okay. And um, usually, very often, we do it, the, it without the dogs at all. So you learn to kick, and um, it's just very very good for us. Okay. And people can get this equipment. You know, where do you get the equipment for? It well, uh, there are a lot of sources online. Uh, Sled Dog Central is a, a very good source, and it has a links to a lot of places that you can get this equipment. Okay. Um, usually, the pet stores you can't. Okay, but so. you were telling me that it is affordable. Yes, it is affordable. And if you do want to give this a try, you have a special event coming up this weekend. Tell me about that. Well, this Saturday we're meeting here at Grass River, and we'll be. Um, learning about the kick sleds and then we will um, and about winter safety and then we're coming out and we're going to be um, uh, first we're going to see demonstrations of kick sledding and ski joring and then uh, people are going to practice on my sleds I have five sleds and then we'll have a uh, a race at the end a children's race okay well coming up <laughs> at 6 30 Francie is actually going to put my kick sledding uh, skills to the test and we're going to show you just how to use these so stay tuned reporting live in Antrim County Alyssa Heron 7 and 4 news thanks so much Alyssa <laughs> 7 and 4 is Alyssa Heron is live in the snow at the Grass River Natural Area. She'll tell us about an event that will teach you how to use a kick sled with and without dog power. Looking forward to that. It's 621. You're waking up with 7 and 4 news today. 7 and 4 is Alyssa Heron joins us live from Grass River Natural Area in Antrim County to show us how to use a kick sled with and without the use of dog power. Good morning to you, Alyssa. Hi, Kai. Come on. Come on. Woo! Let's go. Let's go guys. Good morning, oh, yeah. Brennan and Melissa. I am actually oh, kick sledding job. right now. Whoa. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> we have Hansel and Gretel. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> and we have their owner, Francie Dorman. She's a health educator um, and a musher. So first of all, we're gonna I think we're gonna pull the dogs to the side. And Thanks, Jay. you know, Francie, I kinda want you to tell me a little bit what is kick sledding, first of all. We have some right in front of us right here. Yes, yes. Uh, this is the Canadian kick sled here and this is the Finnish Spark. They're both um, really kick sleds. This is the racing kick sled and it weighs 12 pounds. Um, kick sledding is um, using this particular piece of equipment to um, for entertainment, for travel, for transport, for exercise, uh, very much like cross-country skiing. You're yeah, out in the woods yeah. and it's beautiful and quiet, no engines. I know. And um, it's just very, very good for, for exercise. Yeah, tell me a little bit about the health benefits. I mean, I'm already a little out of breath just from yeah, practicing uh -huh. in between. Yes, yes. Uh, before we kick sled, or before you, you sled and do the exercise, particularly without dogs, because you're going to have to do it yourself. You're going to be pedaling or kicking. You will do stretches, and um, at my little program this weekend, we'll be doing stretches 
the muscles that you okay. will use for pedaling or will be the ones that you do mm -hmm. and then okay. switch off okay and go forward then backward all right and um, it so it's it's very good for heart um, lungs muscle uh, and it's just real important in our culture today that we do exercises and um, both for our dogs and for ourselves. Absolutely. And people use this around the world, yes. correct? And not just, uh, you don't have to have a professional dog to do that. Those are your house dogs. Um, kind of tell me about what different types of uses this is used for, like in Europe. Well, in Europe, they're used to, to um, as vehicles in in the small villages um, because you you really can't go up and down big hills therefore the flat really okay and really quick I want to hit on your event that's coming up at Grass River on um, this Saturday tell me about that well this Saturday we're going to be getting together at 1130 here at Grass River and um, we'll be learning about the kick sleds and some of the history then we'll be um, uh, going outside at later on and um, there, there'll be kick sled races and uh, with little prizes and face, face painting, painting yeah. <laughs> and the dogs will be dressed up. I have three giant schnoodles and Hansel and Gretel and Ziggy Marley will be part okay. of our staff. <laughs> well, so fun for the, all, the whole family. Yes. Well, yes. thank you so much for joining us this morning and letting me try it out. It was a lot of fun, all of this information and more will be on our website at upnorthlive.com. Reporting live in Antrim County, Alyssa Heron, 7 and 4 News.